Hey guys, Darren here for The Love of Tech. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the show, to the community, to the environment. Welcome back to my, 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 my quarantine studio. So welcome back. I haven't gone anywhere and neither should you. Don't go anywhere because we're about to show you how you can get iMessage-like features on your Android devices. So first, let me introduce you to SMS. SMS was the first type of text messaging that launched widespread so we can send messages back and forth. Now, SMS stands for short messaging service. Short meaning it is limited, which is why when you send a giant text message, sometimes it is converted into multimedia messaging, which is MMS, which also is how and where you send your pictures, your videos, your locations, all the other stuff. There hasn't been much advancement. There hasn't been much forward thinking in that realm for a while. Now our friends over at Android started thinking there has to be a better way. There has to be a more rich featured way in order to communicate with each other. And they came up with this little thing called RCS, rich communication services, which allows you to send your text messages and your multimedia messages all within the same platform, just like iMessage. Because that's the other platform we have is iMessage, but it is inherently locked in and only available on the Mac Apple ecosystem. So it leaves the rest of us users kind of in the dust up until now. So now Android got together with all of its little Android buddies and they said, we wanna roll this service out to all the carriers, but we have to get all of the carriers on board with providing RCS to all of their customers. That fight, that epic quest in itself has been a little daunting. It didn't go as quickly as Android or Google would have hoped in order to roll this service out to everybody. So what they did is they built it into their native text messaging app, Android Messages. That's right, you heard me. It's in the Google Play Store and anybody can have access to it. What that means is you can have it, you can have it, and you can have it. Really simple, it's a little tiny app, right? But it will replace your native application as far as when it comes to texting. Thanks Nomadic Gear for supporting the channel. I'm kind of known for spending a ridiculous amount of money on luggage and high-end backpacks. Then I came across Nomadic Bags and I absolutely fell in love with the Nomadic Backpack and now I'm in love with the Nomadic Carry-On Pro. This is a two bag in one type of deal and it will not disappoint you. If you're in the market for some new luggage, a messenger bag, or a backpack that's big enough to take on a trip and still carry on the plane, then look no further. Take a moment and check them out. Link is in the description. Don't forget to click on the red sale link at the top of the page. You'll thank me later. Back to the video. Let's go over here and take a short video on our Pixel and send it to our other Android device. So testing video on the Pixel 4 XL, sending it to the Galaxy S20 Ultra through RCS uh, text messaging. So let's see how this looks. Here it is. Oh, it's downloading it and we're gonna play. Testing video on the Pixel 4 XL, sending it to the Galaxy S20 Ultra through RCS uh, text messaging. So let's see how this looks. It looks absolutely phenomenal. So let's take that same video that I just took and sent there and send it to the iPhone and let's see what that looks like shall we? All right, so it just came through, so let's see what it looks like. Testing video on the Pixel 4 XL, sending it to the Galaxy S20 Ultra through RCS uh, text messaging. So let's see how this looks. Guys, it looks absolutely horrible. If you're wondering and you're like, why, why can I not get a good video from my Android to an iPhone or from iPhone to an Android? I did not just spend $1,400 on this phone to not be able to send a good looking video to my mom to my dad, to my sister, to my friends, to my family, to, to whoever. The only thing I can suggest is if 
you want to have these amazing iPhone like features and you're on Android and you don't have a pixel, get yourself Google messages, activate, enable your chat feature, and then enjoy it, embrace it. Become one with your ecosystem because Apple ain't the only one with an ecosystem these days. Not to mention, if you do have to send something to an iPhone, to a MacBook, to whatever, upload it to your Google Photos, upload it to your Dropbox account, and then send the link and let your peoples enjoy your video in full resolution because as you can see the compression it's horrible it makes it look like your phone's a piece of doo-doo and we both know both of these phones take amazing videos and amazing pictures so the thing that's really fun about rcs is it finally is bringing to you the feature where everybody doesn't want to let go of iMessage. They say that they like to get the red receipts, that they like to be able to see when someone else is actively engaging or text messaging them because it makes them feel like they're part of the conversation together, right? And making people feel closer through the text messaging service iMessage. Well, now we get the same feature through RCS. Let me explain. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to start a text message from this Android device to this Android device. So, and you can see as I'm typing, a little dots are showing up, showing you that something is going on in the message. So we'll hit send and now here it pops right back up that quick. It's super fast, almost like the device knows what I'm typing already and it's storing it, waiting to hit the send button. And as soon as I hit the send button, it boom, pops up over on this device. Let's go ahead and respond from this device to this device. Came through that quick. So we'll go ahead and give a little thumbs up. Okay, do a little okay. Showing that, so that's coming through. So we'll come over here and just do some little swipey action. And you can see side by side, both of these, uh, it's definitely working great. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked this and you found this video like it, well, kind of fun, a little entertaining, and maybe even you learned something, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, and don't forget to drop me a comment and let me know what you think. Do you think RCS is gonna catch on? Do you think it's a gimmick? you think it's gonna fade away? Do you still prefer your iMessage over uh, anything else? You have to realize iMessage has a five-year head start on RCS, which let's just say RCS became widespread available this year. Maybe the end of last year if you're gonna be generous, but it just became widespread available this year. So enjoy it, dive into it, have fun for the love of tech, Till next time, namaste.